the last video was on the square root of 5. Now let's put that square root of 5 into practice. Let's make one of my favorite shapes. Start with a construction line. I'm just going to use a circle, so just make this one a little big. And turn it. All right, now, got a circle. I'm going to divide the circle in half. So what I'm going to do is put my compass point here, open up my pencil, come past, come past the center point. Anything past that is okay. Make a mark here and here. Then a mark on this side, here and here, where they cross. Now we have two points here. And we've divided the circle in half. Now we're going to take this half of circle and we're going to divide this in half again using the same principle, same technique. Come back, put my compass in the middle point here. All I got to do is more than halfway. That's about here. So I make a mark here and here. And take over to this side, I make a mark here and here. Now, what I did was, and I make this right here. Here is our triangle, the right triangle that we just constructed in the last video I put up by the square root of five. Here's the square root of five. This is unit, this is one unit right here. And this is two one two units so this is it this is the actual triangle this would be the square root of five this, this is the hypotenuse we're going to take that measurement put my compass on the center point here coming all the way out now this is important you have to be accurate come all the way out to where the line intersects the top of the line up there, and it does. Now, just bring that measurement down to here. Cross that line. This line now was the square root of five, and it came down here. I'm gonna come back up with this measurement with my compass from here. I'm gonna find this point again. I'm gonna to have to open it up a little bit more Again, this is very critical here. In other words, you have to ready to be right. Okay, and it is. Now, I've crossed the point. Now, this measurement now that we have is the measurement that we use to find the points. Make that end our crucial point and it matches exactly okay now what we have to do next is just connect our points remember we use the square root of five to find this distance Those there. And here to here. And there we have the five pointed star. Let me go ahead and just kind of mark this in. I'm going to ink it in. Really easier to see it also to show the elegance. That's the only word I can use to describe these shapes.
And there it is, in all its beauty and glory, the five-pointed star. It's beautiful, and it's symmetrical if you turn it this way, no matter which way you turn it, it still looks true, it still looks uh, proportional, no matter which way you turn it. It's not off on any part. The pentagram, the five-pointed star.